Hi girl, what do you prefer? A Netflix card to watch movies or 50 pesos to help someone else? A card. Wouldn't you rather help someone? No. The Netflix card? Yes. Well, take it. Grab it, take it, take it. That's it. Very good. May you watch your movies well. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Someone else. Hey, buddy. A Netflix card or 50 pesos for someone else who is homeless? How much is for the card? 300 pesos. What do you think? Maybe you could give the money to someone else. Are you sure? Because with this, you will be able to watch movies for free. Give them to someone else. And why did you choose to give it to someone else? Because I prefer to help someone else. And besides, I don't have Netflix. Ah, well, this is a very good reason. Hey, and what's your name? How old are you? My name is Gustavo and I am 11 years old. Gustavo, nice to meet you. The truth is that you are such a noble kid. But what are you doing here? Don't you have classes? No, what for? I learn more here. Besides, I don't have the money to go. Ah, okay. So you work here shining shoes? Sure. My mom and I hang out here. Ah, very good, very good. Sounds great to me. And how long have you been working here? Almost a year because of my dad. And not anymore? What's going on? Are you looking for someone? Yes, for my mom, she is over there, in the wheelchair. Oh, and she sells candy? And you help her? Yes. Sometimes she goes somewhere else and I go with her. It's so cool that you helped her. So, are you going to want me to shine your shoes? Sure. Go ahead then. Sounds like a great idea. Sit down, please. Okay, here. And if you don't like it, I won't charge you. Go ahead then. But I need to have a little chat with you because I'll fall asleep if I don't. Sure, tell me anything. Let's begin then. Hey, and... And what does your mom normally do? Do you sell candies with her or what? And sorry for asking, and of course, if you want to tell me, right? But what happened to your mother? Is something very sad. We were on vacation, we were coming back from the beach and we had an accident. How long ago? One year ago. A trailer skipped the traffic light and hit us. I'm really sorry, Gus. Hey, but how's everybody? What happened with you guys? I mean, at that moment. Were you okay? Well, my mom arrived unconscious at the hospital. They didn't want to tell me much because I was a kid. I had to wait for an adult to arrive. So your dad was still in the car, right? Yes. I had some nurses. Talking to each other. Right outside my mom's room. Saying that my dad died inside the car. Seriously? Yes. I am very sorry, Gus. Truly, how old were you when that happened? Almost ten. No, to be honest with you, I think someone as young as you shouldn't have gone through that kind of thing. What about your mom? Did she woke up later? Or what did you do? Did the doctors tell you anything? That she injured her spine, so that's why she is in a wheelchair. So she can't walk anymore? No, not anymore. And how did she take the news about your dad? Well, she was very sad. I had to tell her myself because there was no one else. Hey Gus, it must have been really difficult to go through a situation like this for you and your mom. Yes, a lot because she loved to dance. And she doesn't dance anymore so that makes her feel very sad. Oh, she was going to classes with your dad? Did she dance a lot? She danced in the kitchen, in the living room, everywhere. Hey Gus, I guess your mom had a hard time, right? Did she suffer a lot? Yes, a lot. She liked to dance in the house. She danced everywhere. She really liked to dance, huh? Yes, she loves it. And she can't do it anymore? No, not anymore. That's why she gets sad sometimes. Do you notice when she gets sad? A lot. It was very difficult for you too. And they also fired my mom from her job. Sample text.
And when we went to our home, they changed the locks on the house. And there was also a paper that said that the house was seized due to so many deaths. So you couldn't get into your house anymore? No, we couldn't. And what did you do? Could no one help you? No, they lived far from here. And what did your mother do? Well, uh, my mother had to pay the hospital debts as best she could, but we had almost nothing. So we went to a guest house. But after a few months we couldn't afford it either. Well, it sounds like it was difficult, right? Yes, so that's when I started missing school. Because my mom was very worried. Because of expenses and all that? Yes, so I could work. Hey Gus, can you tell me how you got this job? One day I got out of school to come here to work. To try to find a job but I didn't find anything. So I started working but no one gave me one. They told me because I was a kid. And how did you feel about that? Well, I felt very sad and angry. Because they didn't give me a job. Well, you also have to understand that you are a kid. Yes, I know. And after they didn't give you a job, what did you do? I sat on a bench thinking about what to do next until an old man approached me. And asked me why I was looking for a job. Then the man taught me how to shine shoes. And since he was old, he gave me his things and everything. And that's why I'm here working. Ah, that sounds good, but how did your mom take it? Well, she didn't take it very well. Because I had to drop it out school. But anyway, we keep each other company. Almost every day. Yes, you could see each other more often, right? And you work together, I guess. Yes. I guess you've done it all for her. Yes, I want her. To feel good and know that everything is going to be okay. If I had all the money in the world, I would take her to the doctor. And to their therapies. And I would get the house back. Hey, that's... I think that's something very... Very nice of you to think like that. I think you are a very good child and also very intelligent. I think... Well, someone like you should not be going through this situation. Neither you nor your mother. And wouldn't you like to go back to school? Yes. I want to study to be an astronaut. Do you want to be an astronaut to go to the moon? Yes, my dad told me that only by getting there can I fulfill all my dreams. And wouldn't you rather be something else? Maybe a firefighter. Why? To save lives. And I know that I have to try really hard, it doesn't matter if it's complicated. Well, you are right about that. I believe you will achieve it. Well, I think I can help you. Let's see. Talk to your mom. My mom? Yes, to your mother. Will you take care of my things? Yes, I'll take care of them for you. Come on. Is everything okay with my kid? Yes, yes, no, everything is perfect. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. What happens is that I do social experiments for the internet. And well, I look for people with very good hearts. And Gustavito was one of them. You have raised him very well. You have taught it values. And I think that he has to be rewarded. So I would like you to take the 50 pesos. But want the 50 for someone else. Yes, but you still take them and we'll see what we do. Is that okay? Come on, pull it hard, hard, strong, strong, strong. Stronger, pull it, pull it, no fear, without fear, that's all, that's it, pull it. That's it. Okay, then that's it. With your 50 pesos, what do you think? But that's a joke, right? No, 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 not at all. It's a lot of money. Yes, it's a lot of money, son, give it back. Please take it back, we can't accept it, really, thank you very much. No, but that's for you. But it's a lot of money, sir, and nothing. I mean, nobody does anything like that for nothing in return or for free. No, look, the truth is that, as I mentioned, the social experiment is to find good people who deserve help, and many people chose selfishness. And instead, he chose to help others. So that's it. It is your reward. 
But I can't believe it. Nobody gives you so much money just like that. The thing is, I couldn't believe that he had such an incredible heart either, and, and I'm sure you guys are worth it. So this prize is for you. I really don't think that's true. No, but yes, it is real. And this is for you, so that from now on you can move forward and be able to recover your house, you can pay your debts, you can start a business or something, and so that Gustavito can fulfill his dream. I really thank God so much. No one has ever given us anything, not even a little bit. And this is too much for me, really. I don't know what to say. I'm even shaking, really. It still seems like a joke to me. Really. No, 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 but this is not a joke. This is for you. And the truth is that the surprise does not end here. There is still more. Very good. Now the dynamic is ready. It's very simple, Gustavo. Inside these cups, there are some pieces of paper that you will be able to exchange with me and whatever you get. I will give it to you, okay? You will be able to choose three of these cups. Whichever one you want, you take three, okay? So think carefully and let's go. Reach in and take out the piece of paper. That one? Okay, great. Let's see, what does it say? Take it out, take it out. What does it say? Sweets. Sweets? Ah, okay. Let's see, show me, show it here with me. Sweets? Oh, okay, perfect. So that's a supply of candy for the whole week. It seems that you're going to have a lot of candy. How delicious, huh? Okay, that was the first one. Let's go to the second one. Choose it well, choose it well, okay? That one, okay, perfect. Okay, take it out. What does it say? Let's see. 10,000 pesos. A thousand, no, a thousand pesos. It's okay, it's okay. But more money? Yes, well, another thousand pesos. You already won it. How lucky you are. You've already earned another thousand pesos. Now let's take out this one. And now you pick up another one again. Your last one is the last one, okay? Let's see. Check it out. Check it out. Take it out. And what does it say? A bicycle. You want a bike, son. I cannot believe it. Super. Incredible. He had always wanted a bike, and I had not been able to buy him one. A brand new bike, as you see? So that you can go to the park, so that you can run errands, so that you can do your mom a favor. Congratulations, Gustavo. Give me that fist. Hey, but you know what? I'm gonna give you a bonus, is that okay? What do you think? Okay, look. I recommend you to grab this one, right here. Grab it, and let's see what comes out. Let's see what comes out. Let's see. What does it say? Show me. A school scholarship. A school scholarship? A school scholarship. It can't be true. Is this true? Yes, yes, of course it's true. Look. My son had always wanted to study, but I could no longer pay for his school. The school scholarship is for that. Everything will be fine. Son, you will be able to continue studying. This is for you, so you don't have to worry about other expenses. And so that now, well, he can study and do everything he wants. I'm going to pay for the supplies, everything you need, even the lunch for school. I'm going to pay for it. Is 100% okay. You are a great family, and the truth is that you need this and deserve it more than anyone. And I think, I don't know, it seems very little, but... We need more people like you who is willing to help other like us. And now we are going to go for the prizes, okay? Let's go get all the prizes. You are going to see that from now on, your life is going to change, and so will your mom's. And I will be able to pay for everything you need. I have some friends who are doctors who can help with the therapies. Maybe we can take your mom so she can be treated there. And well, everything is going to get better. You are going to see that now. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God.